everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to make a kentucky butter cake so excited it's like a pound cake but it's a kentucky butter pound cake these are some of the ingredients we have four eggs we have our vanilla rum and we have our butter extract we have two sticks of salted butter and it's at room temperature we have a cup of buttermilk and we have three cups of all-purpose flour and two cups of granulated sugar. We have baking soda and we have baking powder. These are the ingredients. The first step is to cream the butter. Cream the butter for about two minutes and then we're gonna add the sugar, okay? Two minutes, add sugar. See how creamy? the butter is this is how you want it to look nice and creamy now we're going to go ahead and add the sugar this is two cups so you're going to blend this for about two more minutes until everything is incorporated all right everything is incorporated now we're going to add the eggs and we're just going to add them one at a time going to blend that up for another minute or so. Look how nicely it's all coming together. This is how you want it to look. Nice and smooth. Now we're going to go ahead and add in our extracts. This is what's going to give your cake tons of flavor. Okay. The first extract is going to be vanilla. And I just added two teaspoons because I love vanilla. That's kind of my jam. And then I added a half a teaspoon of butter extract. Okay. That gives it nice flavor. And then we're going to do two teaspoons of rum. Now, if you have the real thing, feel free to substitute it for the real thing. I just didn't have any on hand. So I'm going to use the extract. Get that incorporated. And next up, we're going to add the milk. Now it's starting to get a little thick. We're going to add some milk. And this is one cup of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can make your own. All you have to do is add one cup of regular milk and one teaspoon of white distilled vinegar. Let it sit five minutes and you have your own buttermilk. Just a little baker's tip. So we're going to alternate between the milk in the flour milk and flour to my flour i added a teaspoon of baking soda a half a teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder i will have everything listed in the description box once it looks like some thick maybe icing consistency that's when you know it's ready you don't want to over mix this because then your cake will not be moist and nobody wants a dry cake, right? So once it looks like this, we're just gonna go ahead and put it in our um, butt pan that has been pre-greased. And I'll show you what that looks like once I get this cake poured. Give me one second. So this is my butt pan. Once you get everything poured, I like to kind of drop it on the counter like that, just to get all the air bubbles out. And I'm going to bake this for 55 minutes at 325 degrees. Ooh, it's a little heavy. So let me put this in the oven and I'll come right back. All right, we'll be back in 55 minutes. We're going to make the glaze. We're going to get five tablespoons of butter. Let that melt. And then we're going to add three-fourths cup of sugar. We're also going to add three tablespoons of water going to cook that down and we're going to add some more of the rum extract as well as the vanilla. All right, let's see if this cake is ready. Stick a knife in there, it comes out clean, it's ready. Be for the first half. I'm gonna save 
made this for the top. Alright, let's flip this cake. Hopefully it stayed together. Bam! It did. And we're gonna take the rest of the glaze and pour that on top. I just poke some holes in the cake. That way it seeps all the way down in there. I'm just going to let this sit for about two hours before we dig in. 